Hey, how's it going? So I know this might be coming as a bit of a surprise. I mean, it's coming as a bit of a surprise to me too, because, wow, here we are. I haven't done this in forever and ever and ever. Um, St. Patrick's Day is coming up quick, so I thought I'd jump on, do a few songs, and then take off really quick, and you know what? We can share this around and do what we're going to do with it and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, cool. So I don't know if anybody's going to show up while this is live because I'm doing it at kind of a weird time. But you know what? I'm kind of okay with that. So. Town in the county down one morning last July From a born grief came a sweet Colleen And she smiled as she passed me by She looked so sweet from her two bare feet To the sheen of her nut brown hair Such a coaxing elf I shook myself for to see if I was really there From Bantry Bay on the Derry Cay From Galway to Dublin town No made up scene like the fair Colleen That I met in the county down As she onward sped, I shook my head and I looked with a feeling rare. I said, says I, to a passerby who's a maid with the nut brown hair. Well, he smiled at me and he said, says he, that the jam off of Ireland's crown. Yo, Rosie McCann from the banks of the Banshee's a star of the county down. From Bantry Bay on the Dairy Cay, from Galway to Dublin town. Yo, made up scene like the fair Colleen that I met at the county down. Harvest Fair should be surely there. I'm gonna dress in my Sunday clothes. With my shoes shone bright, my hat caught right for a smile from on a brown rose. No pipe I'll smoke, no horse I'll yoke till my plow is rust colored brown. And a smiling bride by my own fireside sits a star of the county down. From Bantry Bay on the Dairy Cay, from Galway to Dublin town. No made up scene like the fair Colleen that I met at the county down. Town in the county down one morning last July From a born green came a sweet Colleen And she smiled as she passed me by She looked so sweet from her two bare feet To the sheen of her nut brown hair Such a coaxing elf I shook myself for to see if I was really there From Bantry Bay on the Dairy Cay From Galway to Dublin town No made up scene like the fair Colleen That I met at the county down from Bantry Bay on the Dairy Cay, from Galway to Dublin town. No maid I've seen like the fair Colleen that I met at the county down. From Bantry Bay on the Dairy Cay, from Galway to Dublin town. No maid I've seen like the fair Colleen. She's a star of the county down. go start of the county down because why not eh who happy st patrick today oh i forgot to get my guy wait a minute wait a minute oh. let's see if there's a way to get him will he stick will he stay oh he's kind of droopy i had him on here at one time maybe we could do this with him does he do that? Hey, there he is. Everybody needs a St. Patrick's Day hedge hog. Let's not call him Ron. <laughs> so 
So a tune about, uh, well, hey, what, what else would it be for St. Patrick's Day? A tune about drinking in the pub. Some friends and I in a public house were playing dominoes one night. When into the room the barman came, his face all chalky white. What's up, says Brown, have you seen a ghost? Have you seen your Aunt Mariah? Oh, me Aunt Mariah, but Jesus is he. The bloody pub's on fire. On fire, says Brown, what a bit of luck. Everybody follow me. Down to the cellar, if the fire's not there, we'll have a rare old spree. So we all went down after good old Brown and booze we could not miss. And we hadn't been there five minutes or more. <laughs> we were all half. <laughs> and there was Brown upside down, licking up the whiskey off the floor. Booze, booze, the firemen cried as they came knocking at the door. Well, don't let him in till it's all mopped up. Somebody shouted, McIntyre. And we all got blue blind paralytic drunk when the old dun cow caught fire. Well, Smith went over to the port wine tub. He gave it a few hard knocks. He started taking off his pantaloons like wise as shoes and socks. Hold on, says Brown, you can't do that. Don't do that down here. Don't go washing your trotters in the port wine tub when we've got all this one dollar beer. Yeah, where? And there was Brown upside down, licking up the whiskey off the floor. Booze, booze, the firemen cried as they came knocking at the door. Well, don't let him in till it's all mopped up. Somebody shouted, McIntyre. And we all got blue blind paralytic drunk when the old dun cow caught fire. Just then there came an awful crash. Half the bloody roof gave way. We were nearly drowned in the fireman's hose, but we were meant to stay. So we got some tacks and our old wet slacks, nailed ourselves inside. And we sat there swallowing pints of stout. <laughs> Till well fast, half fast, five. Oh, all right. One more, but then we really gotta go. And there was Brown, upside down, licking up the whiskey off the floor. Booze, booze, the firemen cried as they came knocking on the door. Well, don't let him in till it's all mopped up. Somebody shouted, McIntyre. And we all got blue blind paralytic drunk when the old dun cow caught fire. <laughs> well, I hope you're having half as much fun as I am. But only half, right? Yeah. Let's have a little bit of a look at a tuning. Somebody's still playing way too hard. There we go. So I will have to admit, I don't even know if there is anybody there live. I have had to do things like um, minimize the chat and do all that kind of stuff. Because um, I just, I find it way too distracting. It turns out that the worst thing I can do when uh, trying to remember lyrics that I haven't sung in like a year is also try to read while I'm doing it because then I just end up reading whatever it is you've typed to the tune of whatever song it is that I'm currently ruining. <laughs> All right. The ship, the Irish Rover, right? Complete with the chorus that I've stolen from, I can't even remember if I stole it from Twisted Sisters or if I stole it from Tartan Army or if I stole it from both. Let's just assume I stole it from somebody, right? <laughs> you know it, sing along. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must say hail away. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must say hail away. 
sail away. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away. In the year of our Lord, 1806, we set sail from the county of Cork. Oh, we went sailing away with a great big cargo of bricks for the new city hall there in New York. Ah, we'd an elegant craft, and she was rigged for and daft. And know oh, how the wild wind drove her. She had 23 masts, withstood several blasts. And we called her the Irish Rover. Here we go. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away. Sail away. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away. There was Barney McGee from the banks of the Lee. We had Hogan from County Tyrone. We had a chap named McGurk who was scared stiff of work. We had three lads from Westmead all called Malone. Ah, there was Slugger O'Toole who was tanked as a rule. We had Fighting Bill Casey from Dover and Dooley from Clare who was hung like a bear. And I don't mean from the yardarm, he was the captain of the Irish Rover. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl, well, I must sail away, sail away. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl, well, I must sail away. We had one million bales of old nanny goat's tails, had two million big bags of bones, and we had three million sides of old blind horses' hides, had four million pallets of stones, we had five million hogs and six million dogs, seven million barrels of porter, we had eight million sides of the best Sligo rags. There in the hold of the Irish Rover. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away, sail away. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away. We sailed seven years when the measles broke out. And our tub lost her way in the fog, not the place downtown. And the whole of the crew was reduced down to two, myself and the captain's old dog. Then our boat struck a rock. Oh, Lord, what a shock. It very nearly tumbled over. It turned nine times around, and the poor old dog was drowned. I'm the last of the Irish Rover. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away, sail away. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away. Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away, sail away. <laughs> Fare thee well, my pretty little girl. Well, I must sail away. <laughs> Cheesy seventh ending. Yay, the best kind. Well, those are exactly the same key. Do we go on to the next? Yeah, all right, let's do this. We'll flip the order here. I know, I have a bit of a list here. Um, this is not strictly a St. Patrick's Day song. I end up playing it an awful lot on St. Patrick's Day because um, my fans are lunatics. Yeah, <laughs> both of them. Well, I used to be a farmer and I made a living fine. I had a little stretch of land along the CP line. But time went by and though I tried, the money wasn't there. The bankers came and took my land and told me fair was fair. 
Well, I look for every kind of job, the answer always no. Hire you now, they'd always laugh, we just let 20 go. <laughs> the government, they promised me a measly little sum. But I've got too much pride to end up just another bum. See, it's so ridiculous, even I can't believe it. Then I thought, who gives a damn if all the jobs are gone? I'm going to be a pirate. <laughs> Arr. On the river Saskatchewan. Where it's a heave-ho, hi-ho, coming down the plain. Stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers bar your doors. When you see the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. Well, you'd think the local farmers would know that I'm at large. But just the other day, I found an unprotected barge. I snuck up right behind them, and they were none the wiser. I rammed their ship and sank it, stole their fertilizer. A bridge out tied a moose jaw spans a mighty river. The farmers cross in so much fear, their stomachs are a quiver. Because they know the tractor jack is hiding in the bay. I'll jump the bridge and knock them cold and make off with their hay. Where it's a heave ho, hi ho, coming down the plain, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers bar your doors when you see the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. Well, Mountie Bobby chased me, he was always at my throat. He followed on the shoreline, cause he didn't own a boat. But cutbacks were a coming and the Mountie lost his job. So now he's sailing with me and we call him Salty Bob. A swinging sword, a skull and bones in pleasant company. I never pay my income tax and screw the GST. From Albertown to Saskatoon, the terror of the sea. If you want to reach the co-op boys, you gotta get by me. Where it's a heave ho, hi ho, coming down the plain, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers bar your doors when you see the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. Well, pirate life's appealing, but you don't just find it here. I hear in North Alberta, there's a band of buccaneers. They roam the Athabasca from Smith to Fort McKay. You're going to lose your Stetson if you have to go that way. Well, winter is a-coming and a chill is in the breeze. My pirate days are over once the river starts to freeze. But I'll be back in springtime, for now it's time to go. I hear there's lots of plundering down in New Mexico. Where it's a heave-ho, hi-ho, coming down the plain, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers bar your doors when you see the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. Heave-ho, hi-ho, coming down the plain, stealing wheat and barley and all the other grains. It's a ho, hey, hi, hey, farmers bar your doors when you see the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. See the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. See the Jolly Roger on Regina's mighty shores. <laughs> silly enough, right? Oh, maybe not silly enough. Who knows? Mm. Well, the night that Patty Murphy died is a night I'll never forget. Some of the boys got a little bit drunk and they ain't got sober yet. As long as the bottle was passed around, every man was feeling gay. Oh, Leary came with a bagpipe, some music for to play. That's how they showed their respect for Patty Murphy. That's how they showed their honor and their pride. Said it was a sin and a shame, and they winked at one another. And every drink in the place was full the night Pat Murphy died. Mrs. Murphy sat in the corner, pouring out her grief. 
Kelly and the boys came tearing down the street. They went into an empty room and a bottle of whiskey stole. They put that whiskey with the cork to keep the whiskey cold. That's how they showed their respect for Patty Murphy. That's how they showed their honor and their pride. Said it was a sin and a shame and they winked at one another. And every drink in the place was full the night Pat Murphy died. At two o'clock in the morning after emptying the jug, Doyle rose up the coffin lid to see poor Patty's mug. We stopped the clock so Mrs. Murphy couldn't tell the time. And at a quarter after three we argued it was nine. That's how they showed their respect for Patty Murphy. That's how they showed their honor and their pride. Said it was a sin and a shame and they winked at one another. And every drink in the place was full the night Pat Murphy died. Stopped the hearst on George Street outside the Sundance Saloon. We all went in at half past eight and staggered out at noon. We went up to the graveyard so holy and sublime. Found out when we got there, we'd left the corpse behind. That's how they showed their respect for Patty Murphy. That's how they showed their honor and their pride. Said it was a sin and a shame, and they winked at one another. And every drink in the place was full the night Pat Murphy died. Well, the night that Patty Murphy died is a night I'll never forget. Some of the boys got a whole lot drunk, and they ain't got sober yet. As long as the bottle was passed around, every man was feeling gay. Oh, here he came with a bagpipe, some music for to play. That's how they showed their respect for Patty Murphy. That's how they showed their honor and their pride. Said it was a sin and a shame, and they winked at one another. And every drink of the place was full the night Pat Murphy died. That's how they showed their respect for Patty Murphy. That's how they showed their honor and their pride. They said it was a sin and a shame, and they winked at one another. And every drink of the place was full the night Pat Murphy died. Every drink in the place was full the night Pat Murphy died. Yes, every drink in the place was full the night Pat Murphy died. Cool, fun. <laughs> All right. Let's keep with sort of silly. Silly? Yeah. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit here. Not a whole lot, but... Bet you that sounds great. Good TV, huh? <laughs> Dear sir, I write this note to you to tell you of my plight. But at the time of writing it, I'm not a pretty sight. My body is all black and blue, my face a deathly gray. And I write this note to say why I am not at work today. While working on the 14th floor, some bricks I had to clear. But tossing them down from such a height was not a good idea. The foreman wasn't very pleased, he is an awkward sod. He said I had to cart them down the ladders in me hog. While clearing all these bricks by hand, it was so very slow. I hoisted up a barrel and secured a rope below. But in me haste to do the job, I was too blind to see. A barrel full of building bricks was heavier than me. So when I untied the rope, the barrel fell like lead. And clinging tightly to the rope, I started up instead. I shot up like a rocket, and to my dismay I found. Halfway up, I met the bloody barrel coming down. The barrel broke me shoulder as to the ground it sped. And when I reached the top, I banged the pulley with my head. But I clung on tightly, numb with shock from this almighty blow. While the barrel filled out half its bricks, some 14 floors below. Now 
When these bricks had fallen from the barrel to the floor, I then outweighed the barrel and so started down once more. But I clung on tightly, numb with shock as I fell towards the ground. Halfway down, I met the bloody barrel once again. That's not the right lyric, but it's close enough. <laughs> The force of this collision halfway down the office block caused multiple abrasions and a nasty case of shock. But I clung on tightly to the rope as I fell towards the ground. And I landed on the broken bricks the barrel had scattered round. Well, as I lay there on the ground, I thought I'd pass the worst. But the barrel hit the pulley wheel. Then the bottom burst. A shower of bricks rained down on me and I didn't have a hope. As I lay there bleeding on the ground, I let go of the and rope. The barrel now being heavier, it started down once more. It landed right across me as I lay there on the floor. It broke three ribs in my left arm and I can only say I hope you'll understand why I am not at work today. Myth confirmed? <laughs> that was a bit of a mess. What the heck? Uh, let's put this down for a minute. If I can, if I can. Where's that go? That can go there. Do, do, do. That can go there. There. Again, not exactly a St. Patrick's Day song here, um, but I sing it an awful lot on St. Patrick's Day because, as I mentioned, my friends are lunatics. <clears throat> it's a song called The Last Shanty, <laughs> but don't you believe it. Well, me father often told me when I was just a lad A sailor's life was very hard, the food was always bad But now I've joined the Navy, I'm on board a man of war Now I find a sailor ain't a sailor anymore Don't haul on the rope, don't climb up the mast If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last Get your civvies ready for another run ashore A sailor ain't a sailor ain't a sailor anymore well, the killick of our mess, he says we've got it soft. It wasn't like that in his day when he was up aloft. We like our bunks and sleeping bags, but what's a hammock for? Swinging from the deckhead or lying on the floor. Don't haul on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor, ain't a sailor anymore. Well, they gave us an engine, the first one up and down. Then with more technology, the engine went around. We now steam and diesel, but what's a manured for? A stoker ain't a stoker with a shovel anymore. Don't haul on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor, ain't a sailor anymore. Well, they gave us an Aldous lamp so we could do it right. They gave us a radio we signaled day and night. We know our codes and ciphers, but what's a semaphore? A button tosser doesn't toss a button anymore. Don't haul on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor, ain't a sailor anymore. Well, they gave us a radar set to pierce the fog and gloom. So now the lookout's sitting in a tiny darkened room. Loranda's navigation and the sonar says how deep. The jimmy's three sheets to the wind, the skipper's fast asleep. Don't haul on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor, ain't a sailor anymore. Two cans of beer a day, and that's your bloody lot. But now we've got an extra two because they stopped the tot. So we'll put on our city clothes, we'll find a 
pub ashore. A sailor's just a sailor, just like he was before. Don't haul on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor ain't a sailor, ain't a sailor anymore. Don't haul on the rope, don't climb up the mast. If you see a sailing ship, it might be your last. Get your civvies ready for another run ashore. A sailor's just a sailor, just like he was before. <laughs> Somewhere in there. <laughs> Close enough, right? Close enough for folk music. If Maggie ever tunes in, that'll be for her. She likes that song a lot. I have sung it to her at innumerable folk festivals and events and all kinds of stuff. And Oh, hey, remember events? Let's not get maudlin. Yeah, no. There will be events again one day in the not-too-distant future, and all this kind of stuff can happen live. Yeah, because, I, well, I guess it's live right now, I guess. It's live for me, anyway. <laughs> Where are we going here? That goes in there, and a gazinda, and a gazinda. I think this goes here. Let's have a little stab. Ooh. Have a little stab at this. So, like I said before, I'm not sure if anybody's watching this sort of live. Um, I haven't bothered to check. Um, We could get into the whole, you know, tip jar thing and stuff, but you know what, I don't, eh, whatever. It, it's not a necessity. Save it up. If you feel the need, save it up. And one day when we're in, when we're face to face, you know, beer me, beer me in the mouth or just, you know, I, I'll settle for hugs at this point. Hugs would be great. Remember hugs. Yeah, yeah. Something is way out there, and I'm not gonna. Thrilling TV, I'm sure. Tune this much on St. Patrick's Day? Who are you kidding? Tune it once at the beginning of the morning and go. I've been a wild rover for many a year And I've spent all my money on whiskey and beer But now I'm returning with gold and great store And I promise to play the wild rover no more And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play the wild rover No, never I went into an alehouse I'd been known to frequent And I told the landlady, hey, my money's all spent I asked her for credit, she answered me nay Saying credit like yours I can get any day And it's no, nay, never No, nay, never, no more Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never to my spore and I took ten sovereigns bright and the landlady's eyes opened wide with delight said she we have whiskeys and wines of the best and for ten shillings more you can fondle mine and it's no nay never no nay never no more will I play the wild rover no never I'll go home to my mother, confess what I've done, 
And I'll ask her to pardon her prodigal son And if she forgives me like she ain't done before Sure I never will play the wild rover no more And it's no nay never No nay never no more Will I play the wild rover No never no more Now I've been a folk singer for many a year. You sing the Wild Rover is all that I hear. So I think I'll retire to live on the dole, where I won't have to play the Wild Rover no more. And it's no day never, no day never, no more. Will I play the Wild Rover? No, never, no more. And it's no, nay, never. No, nay, never, no more. Will I play the wild rover? No, never, no more. <laughs> wild rover. Because why not? And then practically the exact same song. Are we going to switch them again? No, we're not. That's okay. So, folks have heard me do this one an awful lot. And there's always a story that goes with it about an uh, exceedingly drunken night uh, at my house many, 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 many years ago um, where the Formica uh, tabletop of my kitchen table um, was irreparably destroyed by somebody writing the lyrics to this song on it in indelible ink. Um, nobody really remembered doing it, at least that was the story at the time, that's, what's the story. that's what the story has evolved into. Well, it just goes to show you that the internet remembers everything because about maybe a week ago, maybe a little bit more, I found the bloke that wrote, well, most of these lyrics. There's some stuff in it that I did, um, which he said, yeah, go ahead. Um, at least, well, he said that, but he hasn't heard it yet, so uh, maybe I'll get an email for him. Anyway, his name is uh, David Warnsby. Um, he's apparently very well known uh, in the music circles and stuff. Um, this is a song from his sort of ne'er-do-well uh, early days as a young man in the folk circuit. He was part of a duo, and I'm going to forget her name because I didn't write it down because I'm an idiot. Um, but his name is David Warnsby. Um, I've chatted with him briefly online. <laughs> he has given me, he said, yeah, go ahead, keep, it's good to know the song is still out there. So, um... A black velvet, the, the Black Velvet Band, a new twist with just a little bit more from some ginger guy. In a neat little town they call Belfast, upon my love luck I was down. But hopeful was I that there I'd find A wife for me in that fair town And then a one day as I was out a-walkin' I spied her in shade neath the tree So sweet and fair and innocent Here at last was the true love for me Here we go! Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds Ah, you'd think she was queen of the land and around her dainty white silken throat She fastened the black velvet band She was the most beautiful maiden On whom my eye would ever rest And she swore she would be my true lover If I followed her only request she said, I love you and I trust you, <laughs> so I hope that you will understand. You may have all of me, but don't ever touch 
by Decorative's Black Velvet Band. Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds, where you'd think she was queen of the land. And around her dainty white silken throat, she fastened the Black Velvet Band. Her throat, it was soft as a whisper, oh, it was white like the pure driven snow. And I simply had to chance kissing it, but had to remove her velvet bow. So I wandered and pondered for hours, when to me the idea did creep. <laughs> My best chance would come to slip it off, when this maiden was soundly asleep. Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds Ah, you'd think she was queen of the land And around her dainty white silken throat She fastened the black velvet band So in the stillness and quiet of nighttime shh, I move with an unsteady hand Across to my young lover's pillow to steal away her velvet band. Her diamond eyes open quite startled. I have not heeded what I have said. Then her head twisted off of her lovely neck. Ah, it rolled away right off the bed. Her head rolled down the staircase, out the doorway and into the street, where it slid to a halt and I heard it call. Get out here and get me, you creep. Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds. You'd think she was queen of the land. And around her dainty white silken throat, she fastened a black velvet band. Well, I hit the ground at a dead run, and I haven't stopped running for years. Now I'm a rambler, I go roving alone Just another drunken balladeer So come all of you jolly young fellows And remember these things I have said Cause there are bad ways, good ways, and better ways For a young man to get a little head Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds Now you'd think she was queen of the land and around her dainty white silken throat, she fastened the black velvet band. Oh, her eyes, they shone like the diamonds. You'd think she was queen of the land. And around her dainty white silken throat, she fastened the black velvet band. Sorry, David. That's what I did to your song. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, well. I guess it takes all kinds, right? It doesn't, but, well, we're stuck with them anyway. So we're coming into the home stretch here, folks. Um, for those of you who've tuned in live, if anyone has, I want to say thanks very much. Thanks for coming along. Um, for those of you who are going to maybe, I don't know, stream this later... Uh, cool. That's awesome. Leave a, leave a comment in the thing. Say, hey, you know, good to see you. Um, uh, reach out, share it if you want to. Send it to your mom. She's not too offended by that last song. <laughs> if she is not offended by that last song, geez, I want to know your mom. <laughs> Oh, hey, wait, that helps. So here we are, right? Tomorrow uh, is the 16th. Tomorrow is the anniversary of my life grinding to a halt. It was uh, March 16th last year when the announcement came out that, you know what, 
everything's going to be locked down. Everything's going to, nothing's going to happen. I had a long St. Patrick's Day planned. I was really looking forward to it. Um, and yoink. And we thought that maybe that it would be okay, like in the summer or the fall, we might get our act together and that would be cool. And here we are a 12 month after and we're still there, but a lot of us are still here. A lot of us are not still here and that's terrible, awful as all things. But there's an end in sight. There's an end in sight. Um, wear your mask, wash your hands, keep, maintain your social distance, maintain your circles. I know you wanna go out and sit on, a, sit on a patio with a whole lot of your friends and stuff, but for now, you know, have conversations a long distance. And we'll get through this thing. We really, really will. We'll get through this thing and then we're gonna have one great big hug pile, all right? How does that grab you? Oh. A stroll down the old long walk on a day I -A, I a met a little girl and we stopped to talk on a fine soft day I a I ask you friend what's a fellow to do <laughs> cuz her hair was black and her eyes were blue well I knew right then I'd be taking a whirl around the salt tail prom with a Galway girl yep Halfway there when the rain came down on a day I -A, I a She asked me up to her flat downtown on a fine soft day I a I ask you, friend, what's a fellow to do? Cause her hair was black and her eyes were blue. So I took her hand and I gave her a twirl. And I lost my heart to a Galway girl. Yep. I was all alone With a broken heart and a ticket home And I ask you now Tell me what would you do If her hair was black and her eyes were blue I've traveled around I've been all over this world Boys, I ain't never seen nothing like a Galway girl I've traveled around <laughs> I've been all over this world, boys, I ain't never seen nothing like a Galway girl.
friends will remember well the day we went away sailing out of Belfast in the morning our hopes were on tomorrow as we kissed the girls farewell our dreams were on the days of our returning and they'll be dancing romancing I and never more will roam they'll be rolling in the hay and they'll be whiskey in the day when the boys come rolling home We safely reach the other side in New York City fair In spite of wind and rain and stormy weather We all sat down and drank a glass and wished each other well Swore we'd all come back again together For the dance and romance and I and never more will roam Well, they'll be rolling in the hay and there'll be whiskey in the day When the boys come rolling home Joe, we went to Boston, Sam to Buffalo, Pat went out as far as California. I used to get some letters then, but that was long ago. We always spoke of Ireland and returning for the dance and romance, and I and never more will roam. Well, they'll be rolling in the hay, and there'll be whiskey in the tay when the boys come rolling home. Must be over 90 now, my grandson's by the bed. Here I'm in Chicago and still scheming. He says he'll take me back again to rest my weary head. And I leave him a legacy of dreaming. Of the dance and romance and I and never more will roam. They'll be rolling in the hay and there'll be whiskey in the day when the boys come rolling home. They'll be dancing, romancing, I and never more will roam. They'll be rolling in the hay and there'll be whiskey in the day when the boys come rolling home. When the boys come rolling home. When the boys come rolling. I like that song. So, there we have it. St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Can't, not. How am I going to? No, you know what? Let's do this this way. Sure. Cool. Those of you who can, out in the world, get out and celebrate St. Patrick's Day, please get out, celebrate it. Hug people for me, kiss people for me, have a pint, have, have a shot of whatever, do whatever you got to do, do it safely, look after each other, be nice, be nice, people are stressed, be nice to each other, absolutely. Buy a shot for that guy that, you know, maybe you don't even know him, buy a shot, have a shot, sure, cool, everybody just, we got to get along, we got to get through this thing. I'll leave you with this one, and then I'm going to go and hopefully see you all again very, very soon. All right? Oh, all the money that e'er I've had, I've spent it in good company. Oh, all the harm that I've ever done. Alas, it was to none but me. And all that I've done for want of wit, 
to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. If I had money enough to spend and leisure time to sit a while, there is a fair maid in this town. She surely has my heart beguiled. Her rosy cheeks, her ruby lips, I own she has my heart enthralled. So fill to me the parting glass, good night and joy be with you all. Oh, all the comrades that e'er I've had, they're all sorry for my going away. Oh, and all the sweethearts that e'er I've had, they would wish me one more day to stay. But since it falls unto my lot that I should rise and you should not, I'll gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be with you all. I'll gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be with you all. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope to see you soon.